Anyways, I don't think it looks too too terrible. At least, at least he won't fall through. He won't lose any chain. All right, welcome back. You can see we got here pretty early today. So we're gonna jump on the middle of that, fill those two holes up, grind everything down, sand everything on that area uh, clean. And then I think I have some two-in-one primer somewhere and we'll uh, spray that bare metal with it and call it good. Uh, it's all I plan on doing this evening, so may not be too long a video, but at least we'll get this uh, done. I don't have to worry about the holes in the middle of the floor anymore, even though I'm gonna put a console there, so it'll be covered up anyways, but uh, we'll get that done. And then uh, next, next video, we'll move back to the kick panel placement and uh, get a rocker floor and uh, mess with the brace like uh, Jason suggested from Jason and Joni Builds. He suggested to uh, tighten the uh, brace down on the bushing and see where it's popping up at and then kind of work from there to see what we need to do with the rest of the body and uh, get my dimensions and everything right. Anyways, let's jump over there, start welding, and start uh, cleaning up. Like I said, this will be kind of a short video today, but uh, my main goal is to uh, take this washer off. First thing, fill this in with weld, fill this in with weld, clean everything out, get a little dremel of the barrel, and kind of get this channel smooth, clean all this nasty rust, this stuff off, grind these down, all the way around here, and then put a coat of paint, primer, to uh, cover the bare metal. So it may not be, be too long a video, but we'll actually get something done, which I'm looking forward to. Well, we got it uh, kind of in there. I think, it, I think it'll work. I mean, you're not going to fall through. Uh, I think this is where I'm going to leave it today. I got to go take care of some uh, honeydews at the barn. So we'll clean this next time and uh, put some primer, primer on it. I may even get a little bit of that glazing putty. And just fill in this a little bit and sand it down to see what it looks like. But this is all gonna be sandblasted again. But uh, just want to see if we can make it make it look better. And I got a little bit of that glazing putty, so we might put a little bit of that in there and see see what it does and paint it. But uh, anyways, I don't think it looks too too terrible. 
At least, at least he won't fall through. He won't lose any change. I guess you can tell my shop has poor ventilation. But uh, anyways, we got all the holes plugged up. As good as I think I can. I think if I keep going at it, I'm just gonna blow them out. I would like to have cleaned that all off and uh, put some primer down or just some paint. But I have uh, things I need to do somewhere else over at my wife's business, so I need to uh, get those done. And I think next time, We'll finish this and then I'll kind of explain about this a little bit more. But we're gonna finish sanding. I think I might put a little bit of glaze and putty in there, see if I can smooth it out a little bit, do a little bit of sanding and uh, a little bit of filler in there. And I mean, it's all gonna be blown, blown out anyways because we're gonna sandblast it, but I just want it to look better than it does. And see, if, never really done any kind of mondo or putty on a, on a car before so it's kind of want to see how that goes down and whatnot but uh anyways if you made it this far thank you for watching that was kind of a short video uh at least i got to come out and work on it a little bit but uh we'll jump back on it next time finish out painting this and starting this looking at this again hopefully i can get back on this and uh start welding everything up but anyways, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Over the Bronco, it's the one we're fixing right now. And there's Austin Healy back there. Need to start it up. I think next week's gonna look better, so we may take the Camaro out for a little drive and turn the Healy over, because it needs to be turned over and the Camaro needs to be drove a little bit, because it's been sitting for a few months. And, uh, Anyways, we got these two, the Camaro 65 GMC short wide and a 50 Chevrolet 3100. That are all going to have time in here eventually. After the Bronco's done, we'll bring another one in and uh, start on it. But right now we're going to get this done and uh, enjoy it while we work on other stuff. So if that sounds cool to you, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you on the next.